if you're returning back, thank you for coming. I appreciate your support. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So in today's video, I am sharing how I became a stay-at-home mom. If you didn't know, yes, I am a stay-at-home mom. I have not been one for long at all. I've done maybe one or two, I want to say one for sure, one video about being a stay-at-home mom, but I wanted to share how exactly I became one. So going backwards, going to year 2020. Yes, 2020. So as you may or may not know, I was pregnant in 2020, gave birth to my daughter in June. And so before then, just to, just to set the tone, I had been working with children and I was working in a school, especially in the special education department, I was working with children that struggled with reading and I loved it. Oh my goodness. Like even to this day, I miss, I miss my kids. Like when you work with kids, you develop that bond. Like they're not just your students, they are your kids. If you've worked in any type of education setting, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I was doing that and I found myself pregnant again. I was pregnant also in 2019. And in 2019, if you've seen my video, I literally almost died while I was pregnant. We almost did not make it, my son and I. So to take precautions, my new OB that I had, while that I have now actually still, she wanted to stay on top of everything to make sure that I didn't end up in the same position that I was in in 2019 while I was pregnant with my son. And so because of that, I did end up having, so you're, you're given a certain amount of days for the entire school year. If I remember correctly, you're getting given a certain amount of days. You have some sick days, some vacation days and so on and so forth. But because I was going to the doctor and staying there for, well, the hospital staying there for prolonged periods of time, I ended up going through my days. And thankfully, my pregnancy with my daughter that I just had went a lot more smoother than my son. But because I was out for prolonged periods of time, I was going through my days. And just like with any other job that I know of, when you run out of days, eventually those days end up coming out of your check. And so it had gotten to the point where I, in a way, was working for little to nothing because I ended up using all my days, unfortunately, and it, it was just a real struggle. So taking it back, I would say a little bit before, before I had my son, even before the hospital, I did for a second think about, hey, you know, why not stay at home with him? But at that point, it was just an idea. I didn't even really think anything into it. But when everything was going on, and this was before the pandemic, this was before I even knew of the pandemic. And I went ahead, had a discussion with my husband, we were talking about it. And so eventually we decided that it would be better for us as a household, better for me to stay at home with the kids because y'all, so I know I'm the one having the kids. You're probably like, oh, well, you should know. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. But daycare is not expensive. I'm, I'm sorry. Daycare is expensive. It is very expensive when you have little ones. So having two under two, because I still currently have two under two, that would have been a lot for weekly. And we weren't getting any type of extra support as far as um decrease or some kind of discount for having them in daycare just thinking about weighing that and it would pretty much be because of the position that i had i loved it i loved it greatly but you know it just didn't pay um it didn't pay a whole lot just to put it quite frankly it didn't pay a whole lot like when you get into positions like that you don't do it 
for the money at all. I think if we get in education, period, you don't get in it for the money. You get in it because you love children. You get in it because you want to make a difference. And so that's why I've been working with children for so long. That's why I was where I was. But as to everything, there is a season and we decided that it would be best for me to go ahead and stay at home and raise my son and raise my daughter to raise our children and so once that was done i went ahead you know as usual went ahead and put in my two weeks notice and i kid you not my two weeks notice was my my okay i turned in my two weeks notice to supervisor to hr and everything got that done right and my last day of work was supposed to be the Friday before spring break. But what happened? Guess what happened? Guess what happened? COVID. COVID happened. And that Friday, that's when everything shut down. Schools were closed down and everything. So Thursday, it was either a Wednesday or a Thursday. I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but all in all, I didn't get to, I said my goodbyes, but I didn't really get to have my last day with my kids. And y'all, it took me a while to get over that. It really did. And um, I still I still miss my kids. I do. I miss them. I still keep in contact with quite a few of them. So even though, you know, I'm not physically there, like I still check in on them to make sure that everything is fine. And they know that if they want to reach out, they can. And, um, y'all like COVID, <laughs> I feel like it was in a way perfect timing, but it just wasn't, I, I was not expecting it to happen the way that it did. Like I was given, I had y'all, I had goodie bags set. I had cards for each individual student for like each period I had written a car for each one of my kids and I didn't get to give it out. And I was like, wow. So I can't even, it, it was just a no go for me, but you know, it happened. And I just really wanted to share how I became a stay at home mom. So I've been one since pretty much COVID happened. I've been home with our kids and like to be to be honest it, it's a blessing is it easy all the time no it's not easy all the time but i really wouldn't trade it for anything in the world if you're a stay-at-home mom let me know how it's been going for you don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time see ya